going on guys? I'm back and today, if you saw based off the title, I found him. I am beginning to collect the constructed cons. That's right guys. One of you guys commented, so whoever that was, shout out to you for suggesting that. And I wasn't actually gonna do them anyway. So um yeah. I am super excited because in this video we're gonna be taking a look at Mix Master. Because I thought why not start off with with the leader, which is known as Mixmaster. Um, and I will most likely be picking up Scrapper, so if you want to see either him or Hightower, stay tuned. Um, and we'll see if we can get all eight. But if you guys do, if you guys do enjoy this um, video and channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button. And comment down below what figure, which Studio Series figures are your favorite. Name your top three, and then turn. You gotta, I'm sorry, I just, I don't, I don't know, it's just like, I'm just super excited to review this figure, but, um, make sure you subscribe, hit that like button, turn on those notifications so that you never miss me doing another video, and finally, comment down below what your three favorite Studio Series figures are. I'm gonna stop talking, let's get into the review. Okay guys, here we are with the Transformers Studio Series Voyager Class Mix Master, and I'm really excited because this is our very first Constructicon on this channel. So, as always, before we take a look at the actual figure, we're gonna be moving him off to the side, and we're gonna be taking a quick, detailed look at the packaging. So, for starters, we have a nice look at Mixmaster. He is Studio Series Constructicon Mixmaster, Decepticon logo, Transformers Revenge of the Fallen, A+, plus. Hasbro, Transformers Generation. On the side of the box, we have Mixmaster, he is another studio series. He is number 53. On the top, it says Revenge of the Fallen. On the bottom, Boris Things and Bar Cards. On this side of the box, Bar Codes, excuse me, we have Devast We have a very nice look at Devastator. And I really do like the way they took with this. The back of the box. The back of the box is pretty detailed, must be honest. 21 steps. You can go ahead and qu quickly read that bio. Okay. Uh... This is a Mac uh, semi truck, which is what he converts into. D Desert Pyramid Desert Battle. Constructicon Mix Master. He's a Decepticon. And nice look at his robot mode. So, yeah, that's basically it for the packaging. And now, how does the actual Transformers Studio Series Mix Master hold up? I'm very excited to say that this figure looks amazing. I'm really glad that I was able to pick this figure up, and like I said, I might be I might be able to take a look at other figures, so, and I might start doing unboxing videos, so if you want to see that, then make sure to subscribe and turn on those notifications. Um, so, um, talking about artic- articular- art- jeez, I cannot speak today. Um, the articularity, this- I think that- I'm so sorry guys, I cannot seem to talk today. His posability, my bad. His posability and his size is pretty good for a Voyager class. So we'll start things off with the classic ball joint at the head. All, every ball joint can be a swivel. The head can look up that far and look down that far. You have a rotation, you have a tight rotation at the arm. This one's a little more loose though, but that's easily fixable. The arm moves out, biceps swivel, and if you fold this bit up, if you fold up the shield, you have a bend at the elbow, some hand, and like I said, these, these shield pieces can can be moved out of the way. The instructions tell you to have them up like this, but I always just prefer to have them down. So, don't judge me. If you guys do prefer this, then hit that like button. The figure can do the highest kick I've seen yet. The leg can move back that far. And if you if you move the arms out like every other figure, he's got a beautiful spread. You have a thigh swivel, bend at the knee, up and down at the toe, or foot, and that's basically it. So the posability on this figure is very very nice. But what about his size? This, like I said, this is a really really good sized Voyager class figure. Now I will not be showing you how you combine everything until the Devastator video. The Devastator Combinement and Review, so stay tuned for that. Here is Transformers Studio Series Dark Revenge, or not, I'm sorry. Oh, oh, oh. Here is 
um, Vortia Class Studio Series Ironhide. And also, by the way, this figure usually has a hard time standing. You just gotta get him into the right pose. There you go. Here's Studio Series Revenge of the Fallen Max with him. And I might need to. Megatorm. As you can see. And here he is with Voyager Class, Dark of the Moon. I hate his squeakiness. Watch out for that if you ever get this old figure. So here he is with Voyager Class, Shockwave. As you can tell, he's not that big in height, but in width, in width he's definitely huge. So, let's get into the transformation. Now... The transformation is actually a lot more simpler than you would think. So we'll start off with the legs. First thing you want to do is actually move these arms out of the way. You want to come down here and you want to fold down these legs till they go all the way down. You want to flip these around so that they look like that. And then there's a slight, there's a slot and a peg, which you'll just peg those together. And that takes care of the legs. So, now what you want to do is you want to take these pieces and you want to rotate them all the way down. So now he kind of looks like Soundwave. Which I will not be taking a look at, I am sorry guys, but I will not be taking a look at Revenge of the Fallen Soundwave. I'm, I will most likely take a look at Revenge of the Fallen Sh Revenge, or Dark of the Moon Soundwave. If I can find it. Okay, so, if you didn't just see what I was doing, you want to unfold this. You need to rotate this. Bring this piece up, and then you want to just push it in. Fold this piece, fold up this other one, fold out this piece, and then if we turn around, there is the same uh, port or peg, whatever you want to call it, and it will go into that pet slot right there. You just got to fiddle with it until it works. So that's the one I was talking about. And then you just want to tap in these. Uh, come on. Uh, uh. Yeah, this is always one of the harder, harder bits. Okay, so what you want to do now is, like I said, you need to. You need to. Uh, come on. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention you need to get. You need to get it into that sort of port thingy, whatever you want to call that. You just need to slide it into there, so that that way, it'll make this, it'll make pushing this part down a little bit easier. You just want to want to make sure that stays there, and then, just, uh, come on, come on, there we go, thank you. Okay, and now what you want to do is you want to take this piece, and you want to bring it all the way as far as it'll go. And you also want to make sure the head is straight, otherwise this part will not work. You want to rotate this, and we'll deal with that once we get this part done. Right. So, this next part's actually quite simple. All you want to do is you just basically want to make sure this part is completely lowered. You need to make sure that you've completely straightened out this piece. And then you just want to bring it in you want to fold up the feet once you get to around here. And then just try to get it into that slot. That's not the easiest. It's not exactly the easiest connection. Alright, come on. Come on, work with me here. Okay, let's see if we can get that. Alright, there we go, yes! Okay, now if this part broke, that's okay. You can just re-clip everything together. It's not, oh. Really? Okay, just do that. Okay, do that. 
that clip it onto here. Come on. Okay. So that's one done. But we still have one more. So you're basically just going to repeat the exact same thing as you did on the previous side. Oh. Okay, put that clip. Get all of uh, this together. And here we have the truck mode. And I'm gonna be honest, this is definitely one of my, this is definitely one of the best vehicle modes I've seen for a Studio Series figure. Like, like when you flip it over, the only, the only ro main robot kibble is right here with the head. But other than that, he rolls pretty well. Uh, his detailing is very nice. And they definitely did a really good job by taking the vehicle mode without having to sacrifice anything. Unfortunately, I can't say the same thing for the third mode. Let's get right to it. For starters, you want to pull off his... I guess you call that front part. Fold up this um, piece. Fold out the smokestacks. Flip these out. And before we do anything else, you need to take your finger right here... Or your hand, depending on which one you prefer to use. Oh, come on. Come on. Work with me here. Ah, there we go. So you just want to fold out the head, flip out these red pieces. And then now we can fold down the... Oh! We can now fold down these pieces, fold in the head... And that's all we need to do for the, for the front part. Now we move on to the back. We'll move, we'll move into that later. Okay, you're gonna, you're gonna hate me for this. You need to take this, break it apart, but this time you need to take the body and lower it because right now we need to untab all of this, flip the Put this piece in, take, get this off of its port, flip the hand down, flip this piece around. You want to keep this where it is and just let that rest. That's how it's going to look. It'll look better, it'll look a little better once we get to the actual, you know, combine the Devastator. Okay, uh, you want to still make sure that these stay tabbed in. Okay, let's go ahead and fold these pieces back in. And the first thing you need to, the um, only part you need to really tab in is right there. And then you just want these pieces to just sit there. We just need, and then you need to, oh yeah, you actually need to plug them into the port if it will. Come on. Come on! <sighs> Sometimes it doesn't really like to do it. There we go. Okay. And then flip these pieces out. Put these... Like so. And then... I always just prefer to lift this part up. But you can't really do that with these pieces, so... Oh! Oh! Okay, I was wrong. I thought you couldn't actually do that. Alright, now you want to break that, and then... The end... And you actually, I think you need to lift this part anyway. And then I think you need to... You need to put the, the foot in between the legs like so do the same thing for the other side come on but at the same time you need to make sure these stay even oh that's my bad i always forget this step you need to bring these leg pieces you need to bring them out on these hip pieces so that you can actually get it to fit in there when it's like 
this, come on. There we go. And then that should be able to fit in there quite nicely. Need to do the same thing for the other side. Alrighty, there we go. And oh, that is not even. Need to make sure that it is fully even, like so. There we go, that should work. And now we can take this piece and then they will actually connect both of these pieces. So you just want to make sure that the tab will go into these two slots. Come on, come on. Hey, there we go, that's one. And that's both. Then you just, then you just need to make sure everything will stay together. Make sure it's even. Oh. Make sure it's even. Make sure that it is fully even. And then you would have yourself a Devastator head mode. Oh my goodness. This thing, well, it doesn't look that bad. It also doesn't really look that good. Oh yeah, and I forgot you need to make sure these pieces stay folded out. This is what you should have for the Devastator head mode. And I'm gonna be honest, I like it. I actually do like it. My only complaint, the head just looks a little too small or thin, whatever you want to call it. However, I do really like the way that they open that you can open the mouth. There's a little bit of detail in there, including what looks to be a grinding section. And you actually have these different rows of teeth, which that's really appreciated. And I really do like what they what they took with the back, putting this like ha this piece on the top. And I believe these pieces are required to to tab into Scavenger. More on that when we get to the review. Um, and like I said, I will not be combining any of them with each other unless until and or unless we get all eight. So stay tuned for that. But overall, I really do recommend this figure. If you're hoping to collect all eight Constructicons for the Studio Series, I would seriously recommend this figure. But if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to subscribe, hit that like button, comment down below what figures you want me to check out. I will most likely be checking out Scrapper next, so stay tuned for that. And then I will be... And then, yeah. Make sure to subscribe, leave a like, turn on those notifications so you never miss me doing another video. And comment down below your favorite three Transformers figures from Studio Series. Anyways guys, this is me, signing off, till all are one, and see you later.